This week, I cooked an acorn squash over a campfire. It was shockingly easy and delicious, and even a moron can do this. No offense to all the morons out there. I don't want to get a bunch of emails from the International Moron Society. Uh, let my membership lapse a few years back. They, they're they probably still looking for their money. Um, but seriously, this is, uh, this is pretty easy. The hardest thing I did here was <laughs> start this freaking fire and try to keep this uh, fire going. And uh, just keeping the fire... Uh, hot enough to cook some meals on it uh, was difficult. It seems like it's even more difficult this time of year. It's wet and rainy here in Alabama. But uh, so once you know, once I get the got some decent coals going, um, I uh, went in and split this acorn squash. I, and I, this may be the first acorn squash I've cooked. Um, it, if I have cooked them before, it's been maybe one or two. I just don't recall. I've, I've cooked a few squashes before, but usually it's uh, chopping them up. Um, but this was pretty simple. I just chopped the, uh, the acorn squash straight down the center. And then if you've never opened one of these things up, it's got all kinds of stuff in the middle there. So you got to dig all that trash out. Just grab a spoon and... and uh, dig it all out it's got some stringy stuff and some seeds and you got to get rid of those i guess you could eat those i've had uh, spaghetti squash before and that's actually what you eat you dig the center of it out and it's the stringy stuff but it's actually like spaghetti uh, it's pretty cool um you should you should try both um and you know maybe that might be my next thing is some spaghetti squash with some spaghetti sauce um on my diet i can't do uh keto i can't do carbs and pasta and stuff is outlawed but so i rock i i uh i put the the squash down face first in the center of the tin foil and i'm using heavy duty tin foil here so i don't think regular tin foil would work very well on a campfire and i just put it in the fire and tried to keep it rotated as as it turns out at the end um, one of them was cooked better than the other one so i think maybe it was either closer to the heat or um, I kept it turned better. I don't know. I think in the future I will probably put them on directly on a bed of coals, maybe have a bigger fire and uh, um, put them in the center of the fire rather than on the edge. And I think that's maybe why there was so much or so little cooking on one of them. And they were both uh, fine and edible, but one of them was more tender and soft and delicious than the other one. So maybe next time just put them in the center of the fire. But I was shocked at how well these things turned out. All right, so I'm back in the bus. I just pulled these out of the fire, and I am pretty damned excited to uh, open these things up. See how, see how I did. They look pretty steamy. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Wow. So I'm going to drop some butter in here <laughs> and then I'm going to drop some salt. Then I'm going to drop these bitches in my stomach. So yeah, um, I decided rather than trial and error out in the middle of the woods, um, I, I like to eat <laughs> at least one meal a day and experimenting, um, with uh new cooking methods and you know i could have burnt this all to to a crisp um and it would have it would have made me really angry but i would have gone hungry too potentially so oh well, there's a lot of water coming out of this one so maybe this one got a little bit more heat this looks a little bit more wrinkled still i'm very <laughs> i'm very excited about this these look great and the first taste was pretty good I'm making a pretty big mess here so um let me pour a little bit of this liquid off if i can the uh i think the coolest thing is so far that i see and i 
I, I thought that's this is how I'd wind up eating it, but um, maybe the coolest thing is that it comes with its own. It comes in its own serving container. <laughs> Mm, oh wow, wow, the butter. Mm. I'm gonna give me a little sea salt on here, and that's gonna probably gonna wrap it all up. Yeah, so this is a definitely a, a success so far. Uh, let me see if I can find some pepper up here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, um, I gotta find a uh. A method to uh, to take some spices on the road instead of a Ziploc bag, something maybe a little bit more. I don't know. If you guys got any ideas of what I can do with spices? Usually, I mean, I guess it's it's not that big of a deal, but it sure would be nice to have something that is always on the bike, you know, or always in my kit. My camping kit. So I'm afraid that one of these days I'm going to be out in the woods with no salt. <laughs> and no uh, hot sauce or anything. Mm. So this could have cooked a little bit more. But it's okay. Damn, it's tasty. <clears throat> I think I... I think they uh, spent about an hour on the coals, next to the fire and on the coals. Mm. Oh yeah, acorn squash. Okay, well we got one down. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to try next. I like uh, the self-contained stuff where it's just throw it in the fire. Man, I really like this. I wished... I wish there was a whole big old meal that would come in a squash. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is probably going to be my dinner tonight. I had a big breakfast. I usually don't eat breakfast, but I had a big breakfast. So um, so this might uh, cap me off. If not, I'll just go back there, stoke the fire, and throw something else in there. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Hey, sometimes you just wing it and you get it right. Um, I'm still looking into dehydrating and stuff, and I'm looking at all, I'm looking at all options. Uh, but right now my diet is keto, so it's got to be, um, no carbs or little carbs. So, so few carbs, no pasta, no rice, no bread, none of that stuff. So, um, so if you get any suggestions for veggies and fat <laughs> and carrying it on a motorcycle and cooking it by a fire let me know let me know if uh if any of you folks uh know something that i don't or if you've heard or read something that i haven't read because that's really i mean that's kind of why i'm making this video is because you know it's an experiment uh, y'all should see what i'm going through and uh, maybe maybe you can learn something from me don't do this and definitely do this. Do definitely do this. This is delicious. I don't eat a lot of squash, but man, I'm, I may start eating a lot of squash now. This is fantastic and easy. Slice it in half, wrap it in tin foil, throw it in the fire, pull it out, throw some butter and salt and pepper on it. Boom, done. All right, I'm gonna finish eating. I don't want to be rude, so I'll see you later. Well, I hope you got something out of my little experiment here. It sure was fun and delicious, and I hope to be doing quite a few more uh, cooking episodes going forward because I want to cook fresh and uh, healthy food instead of eating crap in front of a campfire every time I go camping. So it's not really that much trouble so far. So um, if you got a recipe or any ideas that I can try that are low carb, keto friendly um, drop them in the comments below anything that you would be interested in seeing yourself or something that you've tried and was delicious um, i'm all ears so let me know what you think see you next time